Who owns the rights to the open air? It might sound like a funny question. The lawyers right now at City Hall are debating that very question. There's currently a debate over who owns the air rights over the rail deck corridor down here downtown between Blue Jays Way and Bathurst. Now the city has their plan. A developer has a whole nother plan. As we've told you in recent weeks on City News, Mayor John Tory, he wants to build a grand central park over the tracks here downtown, just a little bit south of Front Street, while the developer, they want to build a mixed use community. They say they will still set aside a little bit of land for a park, and they also say they actually own the air rights, the rights to build right over top of the tracks here. Now, here's the kicker. This open air could actually be some of the most expensive real estate in our city. Earlier today, I caught up with our outgoing chief city planner, Jennifer Keysmat, as we try to pin down a number on what this is worth. It fair to say it's worth millions of dollars, this land, which doesn't actually exist yet. Yeah, absolutely. And in, it depends again on what it's used for, but it's definitely work, worth millions and millions to the city as a park, precisely because we have a park deficiency in the downtown. And to purchase land in order to put a park on that land is extremely costly. So we have to take a very wide view in how we lens what the opportunity cost is as well as what the benefit is to the city overall. It's been reported that Kraft Developments entered into a binding and enforceable agreement with CN Rail and Toronto Terminals Railway on the purchase and sale of the air rights over the downtown rail corridor back in December of 2013. Well, well before the mayor and city staff announced their plan for a rail deck park. With the value of the air rights worth millions today, Mayor John Tory told City News his hopes would be to negotiate with anyone who may have ownership of the air rights instead of expropriation. We're going to build a park there, and since the very first day we said that, uh, there have been people claiming they have various rights, and the lawyers are arguing over that, but the bottom line is we're going to be dealing with the legal ramifications in such a way that we're going to be able to build a park there. And There's always lawyers out there and people making various claims uh, on anything you look at, and uh, you'll have to deal with those, but I believe, uh, you know, based on everything that I've been told, that uh, we can deal with these and that we can then get forward with doing something that I think is visionary for the city. You know, you want to do everything you can by way of negotiation, but we're uh, also looking at changing the official plan. What's actually in front of the city right now is to change the official plan so there couldn't be uh, the kind of development there. Because I'm not interested in development there. I'm interested in, do we need more condo towers on that particular area of the city? I don't think so. 